Hey gang, welcome to the LISD Help Desk YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to set up an iTunes account without using a credit card. A lot of people get really confused about how to do this. I'm going to start this video by showing you what most people get stuck at and then I'll go through the correct way to set up an account without using a credit card. I'm going to go through this pretty fast and I'm going to show you every step in this segment because you don't have to learn it. I do want you to watch it though because it will show you what the screen looks like when they ask you for a credit card. So we're going to go into settings. We'll go through the steps to set up the iTunes account. And as you see here, we're going to tap user and all that. I'm going to probably speed this video up here in a second just so uh, you don't have to watch me type all this in. I really just want to get to the part where it shows the choices between credit cards and no credit card. So here we go. Go through the questions. Okay, so here we go. We can see that we have a, we're at a place where we have to put in a credit card. We can't go past this step. We're stuck. There's no place that we can choose and we can't go on because it's going to ask us for credit card information. If only there's another way to do this. Well, there is. And let's, uh, let's go to our home screen. We'll get out of this screen. Go out to our home screen and then we'll go and we'll tap on the App Store. Okay, we're going to tap on the App Store, and then we're going to search for a free app. I've already pulled up Edmodo. I think it's a good app for demonstration since a lot of teachers in the district use it, and a lot of teachers in the district are starting to use it. So um, let's tap on Install App. Then a pop-up box will appear, and it'll tap on Create New Apple ID. You tap Next, agree to the terms and conditions. You agree again, and then you start filling out the information. So we're going to put in the email. I'm using an email that I created just for this demonstration, for this video. You will use your email that you've created for your iTunes account. So if you want to use your district iTunes account, you can. If you want to use your personal, you can. We prefer that you use your personal just so when you buy an app, you can take it with you when you leave the district someday. As you can see, I threw some stars up to block my password. So you can't see what I'm typing in there just for security reasons. Okay, then we're going to go through our questions. I'm going to make these pretty generic. We're not going to really get fancy with our question and answer section. as we fill this out, you can choose any question you want. You don't have to pick the same ones I do. You just can pick questions that you can remember and you can remember the answer to. And we, we'll see in future videos why we need to do this as we, uh, as we select these. You type in your optional rescue email. This is a good idea to put in just so in, in case you forget your password and you can't log into your iTunes account, you can have the password or have the reset code sent to this email. So put your date of birth in. And then we can go down to subscription and we can either leave them on or we can turn them off. I usually like to turn them off because I don't want to get inundated in my email with a bunch of uh, uh, suggestions that uh, iTunes and Apple has for my iPad. All right, so it looks like we've made a mistake. And this happens. And anytime you see a mistake, it's always going to come in bold red letters saying this is what you need to correct. So I'm going to throw the stars back up and we're going to fix the password. Once we get that done, then we're going to scroll down. 
Make sure we're not subscribed. Say next. And there we go. We're at the billing information and we can select none now. Earlier we could not do this. So let's just go ahead and scroll down. There's a lot of things you can fill out here, but let's go ahead and scroll down. We'll click on next. Oh, it wants us to fill some things out. Why does it want us to do this? Well, they just want information on the account just so they know who they need to contact or who they need to mail if something happens. So we're going to go ahead and type in uh, our information here on the billing address. Notice you don't have a credit card with the account, so how are they going to bill you if you don't have a credit card on the account? Well, they just want your address. Uh, I'm just going to make up something generic. As you can see, they as you can see with a credit with no credit card, you can just kind of fill it in, and you don't really have to put in uh, real information. And for this demonstration, I mean, I would suggest that you do that. But for this demonstration, we're just gonna we're just gonna make some things up. I like to put in the zip code here, so we'll put that in. Put in the phone number. And then we'll hit next. Okay, we have to, we have to verify the account. So the, the email account that you've assigned to your iTunes account, you have to go out and they'll have a link in that email and you'll just click on it and then it'll verify. Okay, and now we're back at our app screen. We're going to try to um, install it. So we hit install app, pop-up comes up, and we say use existing Apple ID to sign in. We put in the entire email address here, not just the username. They say username, but they want the entire email address. So I'll put my information in. I'll throw up a some stars to block the password field again. So give me a second for that. And then once we get that done, we'll say OK. And if we did it successfully, then we will start to see a progress bar build and the app install. And there it goes. Well, once it gets installed, we have it. It's installed. That is how you're setting up an iTunes account without using a credit card. So I hope this video has been enjoyable. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any comments, please comment below. Tweet us at LISD Help Desk. Uh, email us at the Help Desk at helpdesk at LISD.net. Uh, we look forward to your comments and suggestions. And uh, hopefully get future videos out there to teach you more stuff. Uh, I appreciate this time and you guys have a great day.